the idea of this student competition team um, really kind of came about as something we'd recognized in the industry. Um, other pr programs in the nation um, have these kind of teams, um, but wasn't something that KU Sport Management has ever had, um, has ever really kind of explored um, kind of the doability of that, what student interest would be like. And so when I was hired back on, that was something that um, really from day one, I knew that this was an idea that I wanted to explore. Um, Again, you know, learning in the classroom is great. Um, encouraging students to have those out of the class experiences is a whole nother beast. And so to come in um, really my first semester and, and have to kind of figure out how this was going to work and to see the students um, trust in me, um, kind of to, to kind of make sure that they were going to get something out of it um, because they know that these kind of opportunities are something that does take more of their time. Um, and so to see uh, two of our students, uh, both Mia and Jack, uh, really invest kind of from, from the get-go into this to, to better enhance their education, to further their career paths, to um, really show that uh, they weren't just trying to get a, a degree and walk across the stage, they were looking for something more. Um, my hope is that this really serves as a springboard for other students to also see, um, you know, wow, like this is something uh, pretty neat. Uh, sports sales is not very many people's first choice, um, and so knowing that was already a barrier uh, to students' probably willingness to be a part of it um, was something that really made things tough. And so the moment I started to get some indication that, hey, you know, this student's pretty good. Uh, they demonstrate some qualities that I think would not only be great within sports sales, but just a part of the competition team. Because I, if a student has me in class, I would think, you know, they, I would like. You know, I would like to think that they would say, you know, he expects attendance, um, doesn't require it, but expects us to attend, expects us to participate, wants us to communicate. It's, um, you know, we do focus on a lot of soft skills, um, you know, as much uh, as that's kind of something that maybe schools don't focus a ton on, we do a lot of that. And so I'm constantly looking for students who demonstrate those qualities, um, whether it's in group work, partner work, um, creativity in, in, in class activities, um, just all those little kind of components really fed into me identifying a number of students. Um, and I'll be honest, I got a lot of notes. Um, I asked around, I would kind of ask broadly in class. Um, students would say, no, you know, we're not interested. It's too time demanding. Um, but to even just get Jack and me right off the bat who I felt, you know, they kind of were the immediate, like, yeah, like this, this is something, you know, this is pretty neat. And so um, I would like to think that they would also say that it really wasn't a ton of time. Um, you know, we'd meet every couple weeks, uh, a couple times a week, um, if it, towards the kind of competition time. And we built our proposals, we figured out different assets they were going to market, they were creative in Canva and different, those kind of platforms. And so to me, the skills that they got uh, from this competition um, were things they, really um, maybe we're introduced to in class, um, but in terms of going to apply for jobs and then saying, yes, I've worked with large data sets. Yes, I've um, you know pitched these ideas. I've proposed sponsorship assets. I know the difference and really how to fill that gap. I know target audiences. This was something that they were able to completely take uh, and really in their own direction to show that individualized learning experience and apply it to real world settings. And so my hope is that we're gonna have more students who really kind of see that as well as not something that it's more work, um, but in a sense, it's, it's, you know, to me, it's enhancing your kind of experience on campus. Uh, I had this idea of a competition team, you know, kind of talking through with our faculty members. Um, I would first want to just say that this wouldn't be possible without them. Um, and so having the, export, the, the, the support from top down, um, Dean Ginsburg, um, Dr. Jordan Bass, Dr. Brian Gordon, uh, Dr. Foster, um, Dr. Peck, Dr. Uh, Natalia, these are things that we couldn't have done without each of them kind of being like, you know what, this is cool. Um, you know, because I research fundraising um, and you know, one of the big things in fundraising too is that when you don't have buy-in um, from some of your smaller ideas, you know, it's not worth the time, not worth the effort. And so I can't thank our faculty enough for believing in what this could be for our program. Um, you know, we have different ideas on how to enhance student recruitment, um, get them more involved on campus, um, things like this. And so that investment from top down really was something that um, really turned this into, into what it is now and I think it's only going to continue growing. Um, you know, there's marketing, sport marketing competitions, there's sports sales, sport partners, uh, corporate partnerships. Big difference between just your ticket sales and corporate partnerships and so what direction do you want to go? Um, big right now is sport analytics. That's a huge growing one that they actually have a separate competition for. Um, there's all these applied learning competitions. There's 
so much going on in the industry right now from both um, kind of the academic lens, so at research conferences, but also within the practitioner space. Um, so for instance, the competition that we attended um, was hosted by the Atlanta Hawks. Um, so therefore, that's an entirely different audience. You're not really surrounded by researchers, you're surrounded by uh, industry professionals who are out there and not only are they out there, but they're looking for who they want to bring onto their teams. These weren't entry level people. These were top level directors of departments who were out there um, able to connect with our students. And so to me, it's finding our interest from our students and then being intentional about getting them to those right sites, which again does kind of flow back into the support that our faculty members give, um, as well as some of the financial support we're getting from, the, um, you know, from different funds, which is helping further these ideas. Um, it's all kind of this, you know, big circle that hopefully to me that everything's going to keep working together. Yeah, it's funny, when I was getting my elementary education degree, I was very, very upfront about not wanting to coach. Um, I had no aspirations to coach. Um, I enjoy being an athlete myself, and so I had never wanted to coach. Um, and so, moving into the undergrad program director position, um, you know, we have one of the top programs in the nation for undergraduate sport management. And so, seeing this as a gap in our program and being able to kind of come in and say, you know what, now might be the time to, to take on some of this kind of coaching role. Um, this learning experience for me really pushed me out of my comfort zone. Um, I realized quickly that uh, for me, it's much more fun to be the athlete. I was way more stressed as the coach. Um, there's a lot more investment on, on kind of my end from this um, than I really feel like I have as an athlete myself. And so seeing um, kind of Putting myself in an uncomfortable position like that where I had students who were looking to me as, as a leader, as a mentor, as an advisor to make sure that their ideas made sense, uh, to make sure that we had everything covered in terms of the preparation piece. Um, for me, it was, it was a really fun learning experience that um, very much was something I was not expecting.